Hi, welcome to My Football Mentor. This is Coach Van Tassel, and what we're doing now is we're identifying defensive coverages. I just went over cover two, quarters coverage, and two under. Two under is a two-man coverage. Now we're going to look at a single safety high coverage. Uh, the most uh, predominant single safety high coverage uh, in high school football is cover three. Uh, it's common in high school, uh, it's common in college, and it's common in the NFL. So again, these are just identifiers. I'm not going over all of what, you know, what the linebackers are doing. What I'm doing is creating an identifier so that when you come to the line of scrimmage, you look at certain alignments and you can identify what the coverage is. You guys should be studying these coverage and under, coverages and understanding what the defensive player's coverage scheme is and what their areas of responsibility are as far as where the backers drop and where they're supposed to be covering their zones. But the first thing you need to do is identify what the coverage is, and that's what this is all about, and I simplify it. So we've got a free safety high. Okay, We've got one guy in the middle of the field here. We've got our Z receiver over here. We've got our X receiver. I don't care about tight ends, running backs, or any of that kind of stuff. What we're looking at now is, okay, we see that it's a single re or a single safety high. Mm -hmm. Now we go from, you know, that's a quarterback's look. You're looking, uh, and the same thing with the receivers. You're identifying the number of safeties. We just went over some of the two safety look uh, defenses that you get. Now this is your single safety look. See a single safety. Now let's come back and let's look at the corners. Okay. In a cover three, the corner is usually going to be six or eight yards off and one yard outside of the receiver. That's an indicator that it's a cover three. You could look at the linebacker. Let's say we've got uh, a tight end here. Okay, here's our center. Here's our guard. Here's our tackle. Here's our tight end. Okay. Let's say we bump him out and we move him out wide like this. Well, our strong backer is going to bump out and split the difference between these two guys. The reason he does that is so that he can play run or pass. If he stays tight, he's given up the pass. If he stays wide and lines up over wide, he's given up a run off tackle. So he's going to split the difference so he can play run or pass. I'll go ahead and show you what his coverage responsibility is. He's going to run what's called a hook curl to flat coverage. He's going to work the hook. He's going to reroute this guy as he gets downfield. If there is a flat defender like, uh, like a tailback swing out here, he's going to work the flats and cover that. But again, identifying the coverage, quarterback, receiver, identify one safety high, look out and see where the corners are. Now, if this guy's eyes are inside, just like on cover two where you've got a funnel corner, if his eyes are inside looking at the quarterback at the snap of the ball, you know it's zone. If he rotates and his head up and his eyes are on top of the receiver or looking straight at the receiver and he's never looking at the quarterback, then you've probably got some type of a man coverage. And we'll go into that next. But to identify cover three, these are the, the two easiest identifiers. One safety high, corner at six or eight. I've seen guys even 10 yards off. I'm throwing a lot of hitch routes and quick outs if I see that. but. Six to eight yards off, one yard outside, looking in at the quarterback, one safety high. That's my identifier as a quarterback and a receiver that we've got to cover three.